Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing the 10 cards I've made using Love from Lizzie July 2023 card kit. The theme is Peach Blossom and this kit is so so precious. I love the colors, the ephemeras, the pattern paper, the stamp set this month is a builder up. You can create your own sentiments using the ones you already have. And for those of us just a bit lazy, Besides the 5 cardstock sheets, this month Lizzie included also 4 card bases with matching envelopes. Now, let's get started. And for my first card, I am using 2 of the jars received in the ephemera pack to create a shaker card. For my flowers, I am using 5 of the ephemeras and, of course, I am using some of the acetate sheet and the sequences included in the kit. The foam tape was also provided in the kit. For my sentiment, I am using the smaller Hello sentiment from the stamp set. To embellish this card, I am adding some of the new Peel of Butterfly border style, but I am using only the individual butterflies.
For my second card, I wanted something simple, so I chose the biggest ephemera and match it with one of the largest floral pattern paper. To add more interest, I added a peach ribbon and that did not come with this kit, but it's still from Love from Lizzie. For card number 3, I am using the new oval die set. Love from Lizzie has stitched circle dies, stitched rectangles, and from now on there is also a stitch oval die set. For the focal point, I am using one of the largest, if not the largest, single flower ephemera, and to embellish it, I am using both the individual butterflies and also one of the suede pillows, both in the same teal mirror color. In the card kit, we received some chalkboard stickers. I was not sure at first if I will use them, but then I ended up using both the stickers and the tags. For this card, I used one of the stickers and I also used one of the older hydrangea embossing folders. I think it's from last year's Full Bloom Super Card Kit. For my sentiment, I am using Hello from the stamp set in some Yeti pigment ink from Lone Fawn, and that worked so well. I love this card, I think it's my favorite, I don't know, I can't choose at the moment, but if you have a favorite, please let me know down in the comments.
card number five was actually the last one made because you know this is not the order I made them in and I was left with some scrap pieces and the pattern paper with large floral is my favorite one so I had to use it. For the sentiment I am stamping warm hogs on one of the banner ephemeras and to embellish this card I am using some teal butterflies and some of the pearls from the kit. For card 6 I am using some of the craft cardstock from the kit and I chose 3 pattern paper that are in the same tonality. One of my favorite ephemeras is the mason jar with flowers so I had to use it. To embellish this card I made a twine bow and I used also some brown with gold overlay pillows. For card 7 I used two different pattern papers, one has peach stripes and I paired it with one of the floral pattern papers. For the focal point I am using one of the floral cluster ephemeras.
For this card, I am using one of the craft stock card base cards and one of the tags from the kit. To embellish my card, I am using some of the ephemeras and some twine. I don't know when I touched the sentiment and I smudged some of the ink, but I had the Versa marking pen on hand and I solved the problem quickly. Card number 9 is the most straightforward card of this set. I used the stitched circle dies from La From Lizzy and one of the single flowers. The leaves are also from the ephemera pack. To embellish this card, I used the racing green gold finish pinstripe, steel, pinstripe style pillows. I know that's a mouthful. And this style of pillows are included in the kit.
For card 10, I am using two card bases, portrait and landscape, and I am going to cut half of the front part for both of them. I think it's interactive, I think it already has a name, but this one just came to me. For my sentiment, I am using best wishes and I will cover it with one of the floral clusters. This card kit is a maker's dream. It has a lot of different color combination options, a bunch of embellishment that came with it, and plenty of floral ephemeras and pattern paper that you could use. All of the informations and the products I've used here today are linked down in the description box and also there is the info on how to become a Love From Lizzie subscriber. Now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I loved having you around. Please consider liking and subscribing. That helps me a lot. Until next time, bye guys!